Now at five, parts of South Florida still surrounded by water. It is bad. People can't live in their house, cars get broke. Neighborhoods are flooded and some schools forced to close. I've been over here like 40 years, it's in 1978. Never in my life seen such a thing like this, never. Even with Andrews, it didn't get that bad. Tonight, how South Florida is recovering after Ada. Two days after Ada made landfall, neighborhoods are still heavily flooded. Melrose Park and Melrose Manor are underwater, leaving many people there stranded. Crews in tanker trucks got an early start when trying to remove large amounts of water left by Ada. But it still did not stop some who lived there who have made it through all the water to get anywhere. CBS 4's Ted Scouten is live in Melrose Park with a look at how conditions are now. Ted. Yeah, Elliot and Lauren, this is one of the main entrances to the neighborhood. You can see um, when you look at this truck here, just how deep that water is as those trucks are, as cars are coming out of here. And when you look back further, that's when you notice that, uh, that there's a lot of cars that have stalled out in the neighborhood trying to get in and out. Over in this area, this is actually a retention ditch. This is where stormwater runoff is supposed to go. But as you can see, it's overflowing. If you're not in a big SUV getting in or out of the Melrose neighborhoods in Fort Lauderdale, chances are you're on foot. This woman took her shoes off after being dropped off and is trudging through water to get home. I'm over the apartment. You're walking over to the apartment? A lot of water. Two dozen vacuum trucks are running 24-7, sopping up as much water as they can. The state is sending up to 12 more to help out. we got to re-engineer this. we got to get a hold of it. we got to prioritize uh, Merrill's Manors and Merrill's Park uh, to see what we can do to get uh, water off the streets. Robert McKinsey is the city commissioner here. This is the time that we can do the heavy lifting and get what is needed over here and prioritize this and start working on it immediately. The Melrose neighborhoods were annexed by Fort Lauderdale and are not on the city storm drain system. Melrose Manors has no drains. It relies on evaporation to get rid of water. Next door in Melrose Park, there are retention ditches. You can see they're full, leaving lots of standing water behind. Melrose Park and Melrose Manors, uh, you're in our sights. Fort Lauderdale Mayor Dean Trentalis vows the problem will get fixed as part of the city's $200 million plan to upgrade storm drains. This latest round of flooding could push it to the top of the list. Melrose was on the second rung of, of, of neighborhoods, but obviously... We need to address that as a priority. This, this, is the, this is the worst area in the entire city. And it's starting to drizzle out here, something people in this area certainly do not want to see. Also, you might want to keep your eye on the Fort Lauderdale City Commission next Tuesday. So a week from today, that's when they're supposed to address drainage problems. Live in Fort Lauderdale, Ted Scout, CBS4 News. Ted, thanks a lot.